Hi everyone, my name is Patty, and welcome to Relatively Refined. Well, it is May, and May is a time of transition. It is what we call the shoulder season that connects winter to summer. And here in northern Vermont, what that means is a lot of changes. The screens are going in the windows, pools are opening, and wherever you look, you are bound to see a gorgeous lilac tree just dripping with lavender lusciousness. So in this transition season, I've also noticed a change in my thrifting and consignment shopping habits. I am less interested in visiting the same thrift stores that I have been going to all winter long and I am much more interested in doing something different, such as going to rummage sales, which are just now popping up, and yard sales, which I am seeing on the weekends, and even visiting craft fairs and flea markets. So in today's video, I am taking full advantage of this change, and I am going to share with you a haul from a rummage sale. It is the first rummage sale of the season and I think I did pretty well. I'm also going to be creating a lilac centerpiece and I am going to create some everyday elegance by sharing with you a new way to use lilacs that I have never heard of before and it may become my new favorite indulgence of the spring. And finally, stay tuned to the very end for our relatively refined segment. So go ahead and get yourself a glass of iced tea and enjoy the video. I'm going to show you a few things that I have picked up over the past few weeks at uh, rummage sale. Um, and I know you're seeing this in the video. If you haven't tried these crackers, they are so good. They are sort of my go-to summer sit by the pool or just snack on. And if I'm invited to someone's house um, for maybe a glass of wine or a ride out on the boat, uh, these would be my selection of choice. They are the townhouse flatbread. Italian herb crackers. They are small and crunchy and so, so good with like an Italian herb. Like you can taste the rosemary and they're super good dipped in like a tzatziki. So anyway, I had these out and I wanted to show you because these, these are really a great summer snack. Okay, so let me get to the haul. These are, the first few items are items I picked up at a rummage sale. It is the same rummage sale, if you watched a previous video, where I got the clear teapot. So I first got a set of four of these really lovely napkins. They have a gorgeous little um, detail around, so pardon my gardening hands, but they have a little bit of detailing around the edge. They have some embossing and they have a really nice spot where you could do a monogram in the center. I don't know if it'll show up so well in this, but um, I did press them. But there's a there's a spot in the middle that is without embossing and it looks like it would be perfect for a monogram. So it's not going to show up in the video, but suffice it to say, these really sweet set of four linen napkins I was really happy to have. I enjoy these in the summer. These are nice and thin. They are lightweight. And I'm gonna keep them out for people just to grab when they are headed outside or whatever. Um, I think that we have, as much as I do love like Caspari um, paper napkins, I do love paper napkins. It's also nice to have some just sort of every day or thinner uh, cloth or linen ones. I think maybe you can see here the design. I tilt it down like that. 
Uh, here's some nice detailing on these. So there's a set of four of these for a dollar at the rummage sale. And they were so clean, I just laundered them, hung them out of my clothesline and pressed them. And so I'm just gonna put them over on my table to grab with a glass of iced tea or whatever you'd like and take outside. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed, they did have a lot of clothing and most of what I grabbed, I grabbed from my kids. This shirt, you, if you watched my last video, I wore this out gardening and I am a big fan of quarter zip tops. This one I particularly like, I'll back up here so you can see because it's nice and boxy and big. So it, it works great. It is a Vineyard Vines quarter zip and it's in this really pretty kind of uh, spring mint green color. And um, it was $2. And I love the detailing on the inside. I love blue and green. And I thought it just had this cute little detailing of that on the inside. And it is just perfect to throw on in the cool mornings. You know, here in New England, even in the summer, the mornings are cool. And something like this is a great thing to throw on while I go out and do my morning gardening stuff. And then by afternoon, when I'm warm, I can just shed this. And I already got a, I've already gotten it dirty and laundered it a couple of times. For $1, I purchased this book about Jacqueline Kennedy. It is not in the best shape. You can see a little rip on the spine, but I really, I love history and the photos in this book are fantastic. There's the author in, information right there. And I particularly love pictures of Jacqueline Kennedy doing anything active like sporting, um, you know, like skiing or horseback riding or playing tennis. There is just something about her and sports and fashion. Those are the things I love to see. So there's tennis photos. I think it's because I love sports and activities and just seeing her doing them. I think it just brings a uh, relatability factor to her that I just really enjoyed. That is my favorite photo in the book. Right there with Caroline on the horse and Jacqueline leading her. And this is what I love. She is in sandals or flip-flops, very casual, just really enjoying that. More horse photos that I love. I also love her style. Very classic and simple and elegant. Here's another photo I love in the water with the children. Just really enjoying that. Water skiing, there's just so much about her that I find fascinating. So I think this book has been a real treasure. I have looked through it over and over again and uh, just enjoying it thoroughly. I love that picture. Look how happy and that beautiful classic dress, just gorgeous. and her world travels. So this was a nice book to find and I am certainly enjoying this one. I also picked this up at the rummage sale. This is an L.L. Bean toiletry bag and it was marked a dollar. I'm quite certain it's never been used and you can, what I actually have this bag I got this for my son. He is headed to college in the fall, but I also thought this would be great for travel. It has a hanger and it folds up, and so I love it for travel because it zips up small, and then I can hang it in the hotel room. 
he can hang it in his dorm room or um, it can just be, a, you know, for travel, whatever he wants. But it is a great, these are great bags, really, really well made. You can wipe them down. They are mesh on the inside. So I think this will be a great travel companion. If my son doesn't want it, then I will give it to my husband who could also use this. So these are the kind of things I love to find because to purchase something like that would be, I'm thinking maybe $30. And this one is, like I said, never been used, so we will enjoy that. This next item made my rummage sailing, terrine loving heart sing. I picked this up for $3, and it is a terrine covered dish. It is so beautiful. It has a little bait, like a footed base. It is shallow, which is exactly what I was looking for. And it has this gorgeous green pattern. The handles are in great shape. And the lid is also in great shape, which is incredible to me because I feel like that is unusual. So it is a beautiful piece. It has an old world feel to it. It will be perfect to put a flower frog in and do floral arrangements. It is perfect on my bookshelf here where I have other older items, items of interest, and some green. And it is just lovely. It has a back stamp on it, which is hard to read. The back stamp says Calzada Alfred Meekin made in England, royal semi-porcelain. And the sound of semi-porcelain, when the lid is being put on it, is just music to my ears. There's a lot of crazing on the inside, which I think just gives it so much charm and character. And this piece is, I was so happy to find this, and I just love it on my bookshelf, but I have plans to maybe put it on the mantle with some flowers in it. Uh, just a lot of decorative purposes. Obviously this is not food safe, but a beautiful piece indeed, and I was very happy to find it. One of the greatest gifts of May, in my mind, are lilacs. Where I live, May is when they are just bursting. The purple color, the fragrance. And lilacs are said to represent renewal. And I can't think of a better way to describe the sensation when I smell them and bring them into my home. It is renewal. So I, was, I do not have a mature lilac tree yet. But my son, at where he lives, he does. So he had cut some for me, and I just put them in this flower frog here. And I had to put it inside a glass bowl because you'll see it's going into this metal urn that my sister Paula actually got in an antique store or a thrift store for me. And so I just put a bowl in with the flower frog and added some water. And by using the flower frog, it really gives this gorgeous, drapey, yet structured look. And there is something about the chippy green paint of that urn and or planter with the purple lilacs that is just so beautiful to me. And my one issue with the lilacs, if I can take exception to one thing, is that they do not last. After just a few days, they got droopy. So I took as much footage while they were beautiful as I could. Aren't they just stunning? I, can't, I cannot get enough. And yes, they're messy, but what a beautiful sight.
If that doesn't represent renewal, I guess I don't know what does. And that fragrance is incredible. If like me, however, you your allergies act up when you bring the lilacs in, the Bath and Body Works lilac candle does smell phenomenal. And if you have a source for faux lilacs that look as good as this, I would be very interested because these were aggravating my allergies to have in the house. Last week, while at my favorite little charity thrift store, I noticed a beautiful bouquet of lilacs on the counter. The whole store smelled so fragrant. And I was lamenting with the woman working how I wish lilacs lasted longer because they're so beautiful and so fragrant, but they go by so quickly. And one of the patrons there made a comment that she uses lilacs in so many different ways. And I did not realize that they were actually edible. So I decided to make a lilac infusion of water. So it, in essence, lilac water and add some lemons to make somewhat of a lilac lemonade. So I grabbed the lilac plants, best to pick in the morning, and you're just going to use the flowers, not the leaves. And I just pulled the flowers off and gave them a rinse. And you can see they're in this colander because I rinsed them off. And then I just put the flower heads in a mason jar. I really packed them right in there. And then I added some filtered water. This was just cold water from my refrigerator in the filter. And I filled the jar up. This, this is a one quart mason jar. And then I just let it steep. I actually refrigerated it overnight but I have read that you can do it in as little as a few hours if you want. You can also make syrup where you do your one to one ratio of sugar and water and I think a cup of lilac flowers. So there it is. It's so pretty. I put it in my refrigerator and when I open it, I can't help but smile. So I, the next day, decided to make some lemon water, lilac lemon water. So I don't have an ice cube dispenser. I use good old fashioned ice cube trays. So I just filled this thrifted pedestal glass, which I think is perfect for iced tea or lemonade. Filled it with ice. And then I just took a strainer. And so this is going directly into my glass. You could do it in a pretty pitcher. And I just poured it into my glass. I thought it might be lavender in color, uh, like the color of the lilacs, but it was not, it was clear. And I don't know if you steeped it longer, if it would be or not. And then I just sliced up some lemon and added it to the water and I don't think I do this on camera, but I also squeezed a little bit of that half a lemon in there. And I just put those in and I let that sit. And I want to tell you, the lilac is absolutely delicious. It is, it tastes just how the lilac smells. It is subtle and flowery and absolutely delicious with lemon. So that was an excellent, excellent refreshing drink for an afternoon.
and as if a refreshing glass of lilac infused lemon water wasn't enough the latest issue of country home arrived and i finally had a few minutes to sit down and indulge and what an indulgence this was it was as if this entire issue was written for me with the beautiful simple colonial style the colors it just was a feast for the eyes this right here just beautiful and every single page I kept saying this is gorgeous I love this this is so me and look at that look at that dining room the chairs the round table the New England colonial elements absolutely stunning so leafing through this magazine provided me so much inspiration and not only that, it was just incredibly relaxing and it felt very indulgent to take a few minutes. Look at the blue hydrangea in that gorgeous chinoiserie vase. And are those pheasants, brass pheasants? Again, it's as if this magazine were written for me. I could not believe it. So I am going to grab my lilac infused lemon water and this latest edition and go out and enjoy a beautiful May afternoon. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. If you would give this video a thumbs up, it really helps YouTube and us to know that this is content that you like and enjoy and want more of. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We are really trying to grow our channel. We enjoy bringing this type of content to you. And by subscribing, that lets us know that we are headed in the right direction. Now stick around for our Relatively Refines segment where we share our viewers' thrifted and pre-loved finds. Thanks again for watching. Today's refind is from viewer Louise from Missouri, and she recently found these incredible butter pats. Some were from eBay and some from her local antique mall, and they are so gorgeous. She also included a picture of how she styled them, which I think is such a beautiful and unique way, proving once again that dishes are in fact works of art. Louise, thank you so much for sharing these beautiful butter pats and how you styled them. If you are interested in sharing your pre-loved treasures, go ahead and send us an email to the address on the screen and we may feature yours in an upcoming segment of Relatively Refines. Thank you so much for watching.